Hey everybody, Josh from Poppy Lee here. We're gonna have a look at finalizing your course. We're gonna go a little more in depth on this. There's not a lot to see, but we're gonna spend a little time on it. Let's talk about who this video is best for. It's intended primarily for faculty and teaching assistants. However, some of what we're gonna talk about here might be useful for academic admins and registrars, those roles. The um, reason that this is geared towards faculty and teaching assistants is that this is really about tying up that life cycle of the course. You're going to make sure that you have all your grades input, you've graded all your assignments for students, you have students set to incomplete if you have any incomplete students. You're going to be able to input, say, a course comment, things like that, and then come here and finalize the course finally. When you finalize a course, you as faculty lose access to that course. And then that grade that the student has, the final grade that they have there becomes their grade of record on their transcript. You lose access to the course, student gets their transcript grade in the course, and that's it. Potentially, you could have an academic admin or registrar open that course back up for you, but you will not be able to change grades or anything once you finalize the course. Okay, let's go to our example course and have a look at this process. We're gonna go to the grade book here. You can see that there are a few situations here where we don't have all the grades entered. We can click edit grades, and then we can put in a grade for Sonia here. We're gonna put that in. And then these other students, we, don't, we haven't received anything here. Jake here is gonna be set to incomplete. That's a status that he's worked out. He has extenuating circumstances, so he's gonna be set to incomplete, which we'll get to. But then these other assignments are all just gonna be marked as zero. Okay, so our options are to go through and input zeros there, or we can fill empty grades with zeros. We have this option over there. So if you've gotten to the end of your course, there are some students that haven't received a grade, but they should just get zeros, or most of them should. You can just click that, it'll fill all of these empty grades with zeros. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna get rid of Jake's zero right there because he's going to stay incomplete. You could also let him keep that zero and then come back and just edit that grade later once he finishes it. That would be fine too. We're going to save grades. Okay, so now this is how things look. We are going to end up having Jake as an incomplete student, so let's go ahead and set that. We're going to go to the roster over here on the left. And then over here in the manage column, we've got that pencil icon. Let's click that. And then we're gonna set his incomplete status there to yes, and then save. It's important if you have incomplete students in your course to do that before you finalize. You won't be able to set them to incomplete once you finalize. One other thing that you wanna keep in mind, with an incomplete student like Jake here, he's gonna need to get access to certain aspects of the course once he's actually ready to complete the work, right? So let's say this course ended October 29th, you're gonna give him to November 29th to finish. You'll need to go into his assignments that, that, that you're still accepting from him and make sure that he has an exception set there. So let's do that real quick. We're gonna to go to assignments here and then we're gonna to go to the week one quiz. You can see that Jake has not taken that test or received a grade, we're gonna to go to the test itself. You'll see that there's an availability setting right there and then an option to add an exception. We're gonna add an exception to Jake for that period that we mentioned. We're gonna start it on the 29th and then we're going to end it on November 29th. We're gonna let it send an email to him and then we'll save. So now he has an exception that will allow him to access this test any time during that period of availability that we've set there. In some situations, it might make sense to alter some of these other aspects of the course. You could alter the due date. The due date doesn't have a real functional impact on his grade. It will mark the test as late if he's taking 
um, the test after a given due date, but it doesn't actually automatically impact his grade. So if you needed to, you would be able to add a retake or two if that was something that he was getting an exception on as well. You would need to do that for tests, for anything where you want a student to actually sign in and submit a file or do work in Populi. You'll need to make sure that there's an availability um, setting made there. So they'll be able to get in and do that um, after the course has been finalized. Another thing that, um, that we'll have a quick look at is the final grade here. So we can manually edit these students' final grades here. So rather than looking at that assignment level grade, we can change just their final grade here. We also have the ability to create a course comment for students. This would go out as part of their grade report. Let's click on one of those comments to edit. You can see here, we've got those grades for reference here. And then we've also got notes. So you can leave course notes, um, and we'll, we'll have a look at that in just a second here, and then have those available here for reference as well as you're creating the student's course comment. Once you have that comment entered, you can save. Let's real quick go over to the roster, and then you can see those notes. These would be like running notes. Blaze has one entered, and you would be able to just keep adding to those notes there. Now we're ready to finalize. We've got students set to incomplete that need to be set to incomplete. We have exceptions set for any of those incomplete students. And now we could go to settings and you'll find a finalize course option there. And then we could also go to grade book. And then we have a finalized course option there. Let's click that. And then we can just review everything here. In this situation, we don't have any grades there that are empty. If we did have an empty grade that we hadn't filled with a zero, we would, we would be notified here that we were excusing certain, certain grades. So anything that's left empty, no zero, no other grade of any kind, would be excused when we finalize the course. To do that, all we're gonna do is click Finalize Course in All Students. It is an option to uncheck a student, so you can finalize students, but leave a couple unfinalized, leave the course ultimately unfinalized as well. So if there's a student you know, that's not incomplete, but that you're not ready to finalize yet, and you're, you're ready to finalize everybody else, you can do that. And you won't lose access to um, the course to be able to edit it, but you'll be able to push those grades out to those students. But in this situation, we're just gonna go ahead and finalize the course in all students and then hit submit. That's pretty much done. You'll notice that we've lost access to edit these grades. We can no longer make edits here. The assignments, we can no longer add assignments. We can go in and see work here, but we can't change anything. So we've, as faculty, have basically lost access to the course. We can still do one thing though. We go to the roster with those incomplete students there. We can still go ahead and mark them as complete and input grades that we need to. So let's go to Jake. We're gonna say that we want to enter grades. This is where he stands currently. Let's go to enter grades. Under assignments here, you'll be able to come down to the bottom and then click edit grades. We're gonna enter in a grade there for that one. And then you'll see here that we also wanna mark him complete. So once we do this, we'll lose access to him again. He'll no longer be an incomplete student. He'll be a complete enrolled student. So let's save that. And then let's take a quick look back at the roster. Now Jake has joined the rest of them. He's no longer incomplete. Okay, so that's it. We've uh, gone through, entered final grades. We made sure that the course comments are there. We've managed everything with those incomplete students. And now students are finalized. They have their final grade and you can move on with your life. Go ahead and hit subscribe. You can also hit that little notifications bell when that comes up, ding, ding, ding. And why not hit like? I'm Josh for Populi. Thanks for watching. You've been great. Have a great day. Bye.